Welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at this PEI plate for an FLSUN Q5 3D printer. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So I have a bunch of other videos on the FLSUN Q5 printer, and I'll put a link below to my playlist. So this is the FYSETC PEI plate. Now people have been recommending these for years. I actually bought this months ago. I'm finally now just getting to it. Let me get it out of the box. Okay, so this is actually two parts. We have a steel base with adhesive on it that will go on the current bed, and then the other one is the PEI plate. And PEI is a type of plastic, so let me pull this apart. This is magnetic. So this is the PEI layer here, and this is the metal. So this here is the adhesive. So this will adhere to my plate, and then this will go on top of it like so. Now I did read one tip not to line these tabs up. I guess that can make it harder to remove because then you can't grab onto those tabs to remove it. So let me get my 3D printer over here. We'll get this thing installed and set up. Okay, so here I have the 3D printer. Let's just see how this fits on here. So the overlap's probably about a quarter inch if I line it up on one edge, ultimately center it on there. But before I put it on, I do want to clean this really good. I'm just going to use some acetone. I think that's pretty clean, but I'll use some isopropyl alcohol too. Now these solvents can ruin the finish on your printer, so try and keep them on the plate. Okay, so I think that's cleaned up. So now I'll take the plate and I'll peel the adhesive off. I'll center it on here. I feel like that's pretty good. Now I'm going to start from the center outward and I'll press the adhesive in place. I'm just using a microfiber cloth here. So now I can put the PEI plate on here. Okay, the magnet holds it in place and I'll peel the film off. So now I have to calibrate this. It looks like there's some little dots here. I'll poke these out with some tweezers. I don't want those little dots fouling up a print later on down the road. So the idea behind this is that you print something and then you can pull this off and flex it and pop the print off. So I've seen some different advice on this where you should scratch it up with some steel wool. I'm not going to do that yet, but I do want to get it calibrated. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn it on and get it heated up. So I'll turn it on. I'll press preheat, I'll say PLA. Okay, so it's heating up. While that's heating up, I dug out my calibration probe. I'll connect that up here. Now I have some filament squeezing out of here from last time I printed. I'll wipe that off. I don't have any filament loaded in the machine right now, but this will magnet on here, like so. Once this is up to temperature, we'll get started. Okay, so we're up to temperature. I'll hit back, I'll go to tool, I'll go to auto level and I'll adjust the camera, then I will hit the button. And I'm going to hit it again. It tells me to plug in the module that I just plugged in. I'll hit confirm. And now it's going through the auto level procedure. Now I need to adjust the Z height. So on the interface here, it's saying move Z zero. So I'll hit move Z zero. It says remove the leveling module. I'll hit confirm. I have a piece of paper here. I'm going to put it under the head. I'm going to hit adjust Z and I'll move it down till it just starts grabbing that paper. And I'm going to be hitting the minus. And it's on point one millimeter resolution right now. Okay. So it's just starting to grab that paper. I think I'm going to actually stop at that. So I'll hit save. 
And now I think I'm ready to do a test print. So I'll get that loaded up and we'll test it out. Okay, so I'm going to print a sample here. I'll be filming a time lapse. I don't know how good it's going to look because this plate is changing the exposure, but we'll check it out when it's done and see how it adhered to the plate and how well it released from the plate. Okay, so it's finished printing. It's mostly cooled down. It's just a little bit of warmth there. So I'll peel the plate up. You can see it here. And then to remove this, I should just have to flex it a little bit. There we go. And actually flexing it in worked just as well as flexing it out. There's a little bit of filament still on there. And now the plate, I mean, there's really almost no evidence of having used it. So I can put it back on for the next print. There we go. Now here's the print you can see. Now it's super smooth on the bottom. It's just very smooth there. There's a little black rim. I had black filament in before. If I was actually doing this for a project, I would have purged that. Then we have our transparent diamond. And here you can see it lit up. Here's another print I did. It's a snowflake. Let's see how easy this comes off. Uh, super easy. Now I could work on my print quality here a little bit, but it came off the plate really easy. Prints like this could be very difficult to take off the regular plate. And of course we have this here will come right off and it looks brand new. So that's the installation and setup of a PEI plate on an FL Sun Q5 printer. I found that very easy to do. I was very impressed at how easy it was to remove prints on this. It also didn't seem to have any adhesion problems. If in the future I ever have adhesion problems, I'll probably try that where I scuff it up with some stainless steel because there was a pretty good sized contact patch, but some will just have little dots of support and such that will break off easily. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.